Hayden, bed right. 14. What? First of all, what's your name again? My name's Cordell Thomas. Cordell Thomas, can you tell us who you would vote for in the upcoming presidential election and why? First off, I'd like to say my middle name is Vincent. Well, I would not vote for anybody in the present election for the simple fact that I believe the last election was a fake and a fraud. And also because a vote for Barack Obama would be just like voting for Oprah Winfrey because we all know that Oprah Winfrey is actually calling the shots for, you know, people like him. And plus she screwed up the color purple, although we don't know anything <laughs> about the color purple. But we do know this. Um, we're from the West. We didn't fight in the Civil War, and we're not mad about anything. We're not racist. We're not anarchist. We're not nihilist. We're actually just a nihilist for all the golden dinero. I'm just an American. All I want is the truth and the best of both worlds and the ability to make more from less than everybody else around me. I don't want to solve the world's crisis or the oil problems that America's facing right now. I just want to take the natural resources that we have and make the most of them. There's nothing wrong with aligning forces with, say, the people of Iceland. Even if Buchanan which has approximately the same population as Iceland, were to join forces together. I think just the two of us, in, con in communion as well as conjunction as and union, would be a formidable enemy to face across the board straight up if you think about it like this. I hated Ronald Reagan, okay? I hated him, but when I seen the way he was loved by his people, the way he was buried showed me that his life was more than, than even I could have deciphered at the moment. Don't get me wrong, I don't like to talk about politics as well as religion when it comes to family and friends, but let's face it, folks, you know, if my people were here in 16 or 15 or even 1400s or a year or even a second before everybody else, who gives a god dang, you know? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the king of Aquilonia is the same thing as the king of California, then here's the Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, when I walked into California State Prison, the first time I ever walked into California State Prison, the hugest white boy I'd ever seen in my life walked up and said, don't talk to the niggers. And I turned around and there was Arnold Schwarzenegger right there and I didn't know what to make of it. You know what I'm saying? So I went up and said, oh, fuck it, I'll give it a chance. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I said, what was the body count for the last engagement? And they said, 101 bodies under General George Schwartz, what was his name? What, Schwarzkopf, is that right? I don't know, I was actually a camel flogger, you know? I told them full straight up, I said, 101 Americans died uh, no Americans should have had to die at all. When you, when you take this, try to take this as a grain of salt to the Reagans. President Clinton fired 55 missiles at the expense of no human lives. $55 million is all that was spent, and he took out three quarters of the terrorist network in one single shot like this. Nine, eight, seven. I don't know who said fire, you know? But when America took a satellite out of space using a surface-to-air missile, I was so shocked and awed by it, I said to myself, oh my God, it's a dang good thing I didn't join the Air Force like my dad told me to, because I whooped my dad's ass and he thought the Air Force was the shit. They ain't the shit. You know, it's the ability of one American to be able to change the rest of the world around us that makes us different than the rest of the world. Because look at Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler united the whole world. Whether for or against him didn't matter. He united the world, okay? And that's what really matters. He wasn't a racist. He loved the Japanese just as much as I love the Japanese. I don't even know how to speak Japanese, but I know how to drive a ninja or a Kawasaki. But let me, <laughs> let me say this and say this right. Um, for the big guy in the sky, you know, I love modern technology. The first time I ever signed up at Butte College, I signed up for a camera, as well as a, a, the ability to be able to take a shot, you know. And I don't know what it was a shot for. Or it could have been the biggest white boy shot on a prison yard from here to the Federal Bureau of Inter-Narcotic Agencies Task Force leaders. I'd have been like, here's the Ricochet, the leader of the motherfucking cars, the lead singer of the cars. Um, it's all about what's inside of here, you know? It's all about, can you raise a foster child before you can raise an, your own family member first, based on the simple truth that how could I feel good about raising my son, Caden, right here in Butte County, unless I was able to raise my son, Cody, or baby Paul Ovenheim, first? You heard it here, everybody. It's all about taking care of you first, taking care of your family.